friends thank you so much for pressing play on my video for those that don't know me my name is Charlene from stampwithsha.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US I have a super cute card to share with you today now this type of card has been around for some time and I'm using some of the new product from the upcoming occasions catalog and it's held in place by this circle and when you open it it's kind of a fancy opening so I'm going to share with you how we create today's card the designer series paper on this particular card I used the botanical butterfly DSP and I for the stamp set I used the butterfly gala and again, this comes with a coordinating punch. And if you bundle them together, you save 10%. My card base is in Whisper White. It's the thick Whisper White. Today's card, I will be using the Happiness Blooms Designer Series Paper. This suite, you guys, is amazing. I don't know if you could see. Again... If anybody needs a catalog, please send me an email. I'll be happy to send you one. But let's get on with our project today. So, I have my stamp and trimmer. Now, if you miss any of these measurements, I will have a written detailed description over on my website at www.stampwithshar.com. I do post projects every weekday, so if you head on over there, um, you know, you can get some inspiration. So, our card base today is the Whisper White Thick, and this piece is cut at 5.5 by 8.5, and, and we need to do some scoring. We need three pieces of cardstock, and these pieces are cut at one and five eighths by four. You're going to need three pieces of the designer series paper, and this pieces are cut at one and three eight by three and three quarters. And then I just die cut out my other pieces that I needed. Now. I actually use these two pieces here come from the needlepoint elements and I wanted to show you that it's got this beautiful little image but Stampin' Up! is super clever because there's a punch that coordinates and I just found this out yesterday while I was creating this card so if you punch this out it makes a um, awesome stitched scallop edge. Check that out. See how it's got that stitched scallop? How fancy. Super cool. So, anyway. And again, I will have everything over on my website. So, we need to score this piece. This piece is going to be scored at two and an eighth. And that's, you got your two inches and then you got two tick marks. You got one, two, and that's two and an eighth. And you're going to score. And I'm just using my scoring blade on my trimmer. Now you can either rotate it 180 and score it again at two and an eighth. Or you can open it up. And score this at six and seven sixteenths. So that's seven sixteenths is one tick mark before the half inch. But because there's a, a divot over here, it's easier for me to just rotate it 180 and score it again at two and an eighth. we are going to burnish those score lines and that is what's going to give you this gatefold you know this fancy type of fold now I'm using I have two pieces of daffodil delight 
and then this piece here is with the knight of navy now i went ahead and glued this and i wrapped white baker's twine around i figured nobody wanted to watch me on camera trying to tie a bow it's a struggle so especially when i'm on camera so you are going to layer all your dsp pieces And then you are going to decide how you want to place your card. I think I'm going to do it like so. Now, on my original card, where is it? On the original card, I actually stuck it down with multi-purpose liquid glue, but you don't have to do that. You can, if you want, use some dimensionals, which I will do in this video. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick two dimensionals on that side. You're going to stick two dimensionals on this side. So you're basically alternating. You're going to stick two on this side. And then you're going to stick two on this side. And then once you figure out where your pieces are going to go, you can then go ahead. Now this one is a little too down. Okay. So that's what's going to give you that fancy now you can leave it like that. You can stamp on the inside. I've got some Night of Navy ink and some lovely lipstick. And again, the stamp set I'm using is the Butterfly Gala. I'm going to use this thank you so much, so very much. Did I do it? No, that was super close. Thank you so much. I've got the butterfly. Now I only want this little butterfly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap it in there. Now you can see I got the tips of the other butterfly. I'm just gonna use my hands and just make sure I've wiped it away and then that way I'm able to just pop a little butterfly right at the top. Now I know some demonstrators will cut that off but I don't like to cut my stems because if I sell it I don't know. I'm just funny like that, I guess. Okay, let me close these bad boys up before I get ink everywhere. Okay, so that's the inside. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. I have my stitched shapes framelit circle. This is the third circle, the third largest. And then I just went with the needlepoint elements, cut this die cut this out then punched it out and that's going to go on top like so and then again from the needle points and I'm just going to stamp hmm let's see do I let me do it in right of navy? We're gonna 
stamp a little note. I'm going to attach this. Like so, and again, you can embellish this however you want. And then I am going to add some dimensionals right here. One, two, three, and maybe three down here. That way I know my circle is going to stay. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. That way you don't miss my next video. If you're in the U.S. and you're interested in any of the products that I use today, I will have them linked in the description below. If you click on that, it will take you directly to my online store. I do post projects every weekday to inspire you, so I hope you'll head on over to my website. Hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog. That's going to go like so. And then this is just going to fit like so. Super cute card, you guys. Love it. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care.